Postprandial syndrome is that part of the day after a lunch where you start shuddering when you start hearing a speech that's too long, and <laughs> therefore mine is not going to be long. Uh, I just want to say welcome to the new students. Um, I knew that you had a conference today, but hearing your presentations, listening to your backgrounds, looking at the numbers on how this program is today, makes me actually extremely happy and it's music to my ears and for the benefit of the students and also of our guests I can tell you one thing this is not the college you used to know the college has gone through some serious transformation over the last few years and today it is pretty much <coughs> the best I have seen it and I've been I'm celebrating my 10th year at Texas A&M but in terms of the numbers, in terms of everything we're doing, it's a very different college. And whenever I have to explain what the college is to any audience, no matter what it is, they don't get it. Why do we have so much? We think it's only architecture. So with all due respect to just the Department of Architecture, the College of Architecture is tremendously more than that. So for the students and our guests, let me paint you a little picture. I want you to imagine for a second a college whose primary mission is to enhance through what we do the quality of life for people because that's what we do. Imagine for a second a college that is focused on enhancing the quality of place where people are and we work on three environments the built, the natural and the virtual environment and we make contributions in each three. Now imagine for a second a college that enhances and enables the highest quality of human endeavor in other words what people do in a place that is the college of architecture so when you map out the whole set of assets and this is the challenge for the students when you graduate and you go on read arena and you get your diploma ask yourself how much you actually are taking with you beyond just the requirements of the check, 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 I did these courses, I get my degree. Because the full experience of what Texas A&M is offering, what the College of Architecture is offering, what the Masters of Land and Property Development are offering within that department is tremendously much more than anything a lot of people know. So when I get asked to, okay, so tell us a little bit about your college, it's very simple. <coughs> We're two bookends. On one end, you have the whole expertise, knowledge, and people doing knowledge development on the whole area of, of regional and urban planning. And that goes down to suburban, semi-rural, and even rural. So that's one end. Then you go through the design. And we have architecture, and we have landscape architecture, and tying those together is land and property development as an ultimate integrator of the deals that happen within an urban environment on those three. But we don't stop there. We have one of the largest construction science programs in the nation. Right now we have 2,700 students in our college. That's an all-time high. And construction science keeps on pumping them out to do whatever they do. And we inaugurated Francis Hall and leadership is part of that. In fact, very soon this week, we hope to have a leadership minor approved by the Faculty Senate before it goes to that. So, when you get to construction, ah, you sit back and relax. No, we don't. Because then you have to facility management. And that goes to the whole end of the service life. So that's the other bookend. So when you look at those stages, there's only one thing to say. How much of that are you going to contribute to and how much of that are you going to benefit from? So I'm going to leave you with only one phrase that actually, in a little bit of a homage <laughs> to what we heard from Jonathan today, is one of my favorite ones. And actually it is the closing slide that I have for most of the time that I teach. A course on creativity, innovation, and design, entrepreneurship. And that is, a lot of people think that, you know, you design these grand plans for your life journey. Plans are good to have. 
But the reality is that you live life little by little, and you never know where you're going to end. So here's the phrase. I'm going to say it in Spanish because it's from a poet, Antonio Machado from Spain. Caminante no hay camino, se hace camino al andar. Which translated into English means walker. There is no path or trail. You make the path and trail by walking. So my closing comment is start walking and have fun along the way. Thank you.